Hello, my name is Yeo Hyun An. Thank you for watching my presentation today. I'm an assistant professor of graphic design at the University of Wisconsin Medicine of the United States. I'd like to talk about typographic selfie plus code today. What is selfie? Selfie is a self-portrait digital photography that one has taken of oneself, typically one taken with a smartphone with camera and shared by social media. Over 1 million selfies are now taken every day. Selfies are not always as spontaneous as people seem. According to the Metropolitan Museum of Art, a selfie is a form of art. It can be a communication tool purposely. Typographic selfie plus code is an extension of a selfie plus code, which is a, a collection of generative selfies taken to raise awareness of Asian female faculty being isolated and marginal in a predominantly white institution of the United States. I was inspired by a research paper, Women of Color Faculty at the University of Michigan, Recruitment, Retention and Campus Climate, written by Amy Koch. Studies show that women faculty of color may be the most marginalized faculty on U.S. campuses. Challenging areas are isolation, high attrition, student evaluations, peer perception, additional service responsibilities. The visual style was inspired by Impressionism, which is a 19th century art movement that captured a moment. Like a woman with a parasol created by Cloud Monet, and expressionism, expressing inner troubles and feelings of anxiety rather than technical skills or beauty that was a traditional goal of art. This is the screen created by Edward Mook. The computational processes expand the concepts of traditional self-portraits to generative selfies conveying specific thoughts or feelings. I use a processing and mirror library developed by Daniel Superman. It transforms each pixel from real-time video source to each rectangle on the levels of brightness by using an internal web camera. Each shape is transformed to each line to draw the moments being brushed off. Several variables, functions, and color palettes are added to express the visual theme. My internal web camera captured my self-portrait photography and eliminated the facial expression. And transformed my facial expression to express being brushed off. The series of the selfies were taken in my office space of a predominantly white institution to represent a space for Asian female faculty on U.S. campuses. The process was similar to professional photos taken in photo studio. It was taken by different angles and levels of the light, repeatedly and sequentially. It was invited to a digital model a linear 3-minute motion graphic on a large-scale LED screen 50 foot feet by 6 feet at Media Arts Nexus at Nanyang Technological University in Singapore. This is Selfie Plus Code version 1. It is a series of generative selfies to capture psychological moments to express that individual identities are devalued and deconstructed by homogeneous white institutions of the United States. It is from Selfie Plus Code version 3 with a subtitle Melancholy. It is a beginning of the typographic Selfie Plus Code research. I applied the typography into the Selfie Plus Code. 
type of the pixel p plus code. It is an extension of the cell p plus code. According to Ellen Lupton, typography is what language looks like. Typography is the art of arranging letters and text in a way that makes the copy legible, clear, and visually appealing to the reader. Typography involves font style, appearance, and structure, which aims to elicit certain emotions and convey specific messages. Based on the type choices, different emotions and moods can be visually expressed through the generative surface. It is a visual research with diverse typefaces to embed visual expression into generative surfaces. Helvetica Helvetica is a modern, intelligent, and stylish typeface designed by Max Midinger in 1957. It is among the most widely used sans serif typefaces. Times New Roman Times New Roman is an intellectual, confidence, academic, and professional typeface designed by Stanley Morrison in 1931. It was commissioned by the British newspaper, The Times. It is one of the most popular and influential typefaces in history and on desktop computers. Futura Futura is a modern, practical, comfortable, and capable sans serif typeface designed by Paul Renner in 1927. Didot Didot is a sophisticated, polished, and professional typeface developed in the period 1784 to 1811 by Didot family and redesigned by the Swiss typeface designer Adrian Fritigo. Baskerville Baskerville is a traditional, credible, and neutral typeface designed by John Baskerville in 1750s in England. It is still popular in publication design. Zeppino. Zeppino is a calligraphic typeface designed for linotype by the, type, by the typeface designer Hermann Zepp in 1998. As a font, it makes extension use of ligatures and character variations. Esmelia Hari. Esmelia Hari is an elegant, calligraphy, script typeface designed by Arif Dewey at Cook Tech Kuning Studio in 2019. I used Korean typefaces like Nanum Myeongjo. Nanum Myeongjo regular is a Korean typeface it is straightforward and clear. It is designed by Funtrix and published by Naver. Naver is a South Korean online platform. Nanum Godic. Nanum Godic regular is another Korean typeface. It is a rounded typeface. It is clean, sensitive, and modern. It is designed by Sandor Communications and Funtrix. Hangul. Hangul is a typeface designed by Taegyeong Lee, who has bilingual experiences between English and Korean. Also, he is another presenter at A Type P this year. His typeface Hangul used Korean vowels and constants to construct the English alphabet A to Z. It is an intercultural typography research and practice. Korean readers may think it is like a Korean, but it is an English typeface. The typeface Hangul is embedded into my generative selfie.
Conclusion This research shows how to use typefaces in generative selfies to convey feelings and thoughts as extended typographic practices and applications. It demonstrates traditional typographic principles and practices such as typeface choices and visual expression would be applicable and workable in generative selfies. The future research will involve more diverse typefaces aligning with the history and styles of Western and non-Western typefaces. Also, it will be more collaborative with the visual element to be visually more joyful and expressive and indicative. That's all I have today. Thank you for watching my presentation again. If you would be interested in learning about my project more, you would visit typeandcode.com, yohan.com, socialhomelessness.com. Thank you.